Yep, there's Maddie Schwartz in the circle. Pitched in all three games for Wisconsin against Nebraska. Gave up nine runs, but none of them were earned. And hopefully the Badger defense can help her out a little bit more today. There's Schwartz in the circle. And just like that, we are underway with the first pitch called strike on the aforementioned Chavez. Chavez is just a sophomore here. We'll play third base today in the field for Minnesota. No one on its way from Schwartz. Cut on and missed. Count is 0-2 now. Nice start for Maddie Schwartz. Last year, Chavez, member of the Big Ten's all-defensive team as a freshman. The only freshman to have that honor. 0-2 from Schwartz. Bounce foul down the third base line. Chavez, 22 extra base hits this season. That is the most on the team. Seven of those of the four base variety, the home run. There's another 0-2 from Maddie Schwartz, and that one's just off the plate out dot. Chavez with a pretty good buy, could pretty good eye on base percentage at 360. She's good at drawing those walks. Behind in the count, though, now 1-2. Maddie Schwartz looking for a strikeout to begin her afternoon. So 1-2 pitch. Off-speed pitch. Got her swinging. And the first out of the game for Maddie Schwartz is a strikeout of Chavez. You can just see right here she had her fooled high fastball up and then. That's definitely Schwartz's strength. Not necessarily a strikeout pitcher, but able to mix her pitches extremely well. And that off-speed pitch seems to be working here early if that first pitch is any indication. And now here's Amani Bradley, the grad student, taking ball one off the plate. Bradley making her way to Minnesota after spending the first four years of her college career at Cal. Played 167 games for the Bears out there. This one lifted in the air to left field and taking a couple steps to the right and squeezing that one is Peyton Bannon for the second out of the inning. Now a B, freshman shortstop Jess Oakland for the Golden Gophers. First pitch from Schwartz, and that one ripped down the right field line. That's going to get down for a fair ball. Oakland running first on her way to second, and she'll park there with a stand-up two-out double. So on the first pitch, Jess Oakland gets the first base runner for Minnesota. You can just see she has great speed getting that easy double and also coming off of a great walk-off against Iowa in their last game. Definitely keeping up her offense. So now a runner in scoring position for Taylor Kraft, sophomore catcher for Minnesota. Off-speed pitch, got her ahead. Tough play for Sardashny, throw to first in time to retire the side in the first inning. So Schwartz gave up the two-out double, but strands are there, and we'll head to the bottom of the first with the Badgers' first crack after this. First pitch to Slosser, lifted foul out of play. Last time Wisconsin was at home, Molly Schlosser had a game-tying two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning against Northwestern. Which was also her first home run of the season. 0-1. That one's in there for strike two on the outside corner.
Schlosser, one of many Wisconsin natives on this roster, hailing from Oconomowoc. Off-speed 0-2, Schlosser able to follow that one up. Will be Schlosser, and then Kayla Conwent, and Katie Keller, the top three here in the Wisconsin order against Hambrick. Here we go, the 0-2 from Hambrick. That one off the plate. One and two now. Hambrick is a junior from Arizona. Transfer from Grand Canyon University in all West and all whack honorable mention as a freshman last or two years ago rather. Another one off the plate there to Schlosser. So it'll run the count even now to two balls and two strikes. Righty to lefty, here's the 2-2. Two -two. That one's in the air to left center field. Drifting over and making the catch in left field is Bradley for the first out of the end. She's also leading the team in on-base percentage out of 531. Pitchers love to walk her. Yeah, second most walks in the Big Ten for Kayla Kahn. Also been hit by eight pitches as well. Second pitch in the same spot as the first with the same result, ball two. Dangerous pitch now to a good hitter, although with the bases empty. Kahn Great job at working counts, staying ahead. And now ball three. Pitchers know she's a tough hitter. She's leading the team in home runs and RBIs as well as slugging percentage. When she makes contact, she gets a hit. See if Common has the green light here on 3 out early in this one. She does and cuts on and misses to run the count to 3-1 now. Conway leading this team with a 1.207 OPS. Pretty elite numbers right there. A 3-1 and that one hit her. Hambrick coming inside for the first time in the AB, a little bit too far inside. And when it seemed to tag Conway on the elbow, she appears to be all right though. And the Badgers' first base runner of the game earned the hard way. Oh, and you can tell it hit her right on that elbow guard. So Conway will be lifted here early in for the pinch runner. Mary Therese Evan will take over at first base for Conway. First pitch swinging, and that one will fall harmlessly foul. Keller just eight doubles away from first all-time all in NCAA history. That record is 91, held by Sarah Pickering of Wisconsin, or excuse me, of Washington, played from 1994 to 1997 for the Huskies. 0-1 oh, to Keller. Good eye there, taking just off. She's already on a good tear, going 11 doubles in the season so far. Getting much closer to that record. There's a strike from Hambrick. Keller, another gr a grad transfer from Northern Illinois University. Predictably so left as the all-time program leader in doubles. And now a 1-2 to Keller. Off-speed pitch hit high in the air. Drifting back is Oakland. She'll make the catch in the outfield grass. And Keller is retired. And as a pinch runner for Kayla Conwin. Brooke Huffle now at the plate here. First pitch is 
inside and low for ball one. Nevin a threat to run. We'll see if she takes off here. 1-0. Does not run. And Cuffle takes strike one. It's the 1-1 one -one from Hambrick. Just off the plate for ball two. Two one coming from Hambrick. And the pitch. That one is in there for strike two. Wisconsin doing a good job here working counts early. Hambrick already up to 16 pitches here. This will be number 17 coming into Cuffle right here. Four home runs on the season for the sophomore. That one off the plate for ball three. Kraft threatening a throw down to first. It's the payoff pitch coming to Cuffle. The full count. She swings and misses. And Hambrick with a strikeout to end the inning for Minnesota. Scoreless through one here at Goodman Diamond. Top of the second coming up here on Big Ten Plus. Here's Natalie Den Hartog for Minnesota. Graduate student taking ball one. It'll be Den Hartog, Elke, and then Stray Low for Minnesota. Do up here to face Maddie Schwartz in the top of the second. This one ripped into right field. Nevin coming in to make the play in right field. So Nevin taking over in right field for Brooke Huffle and immediately with a put out right there. You could just see it was a great hit. Nevin just happened to be in the right place at the right time to make a great catch. So now Maddie Elke will bat here, righty on left, lefty on righty against Schwartz. First pitch, half swing, but called strike. Schwartz team dialed in today, Sam. She mixing her pitches really well and getting some swings and misses. And when balls have been hit, seems to be going right to defenders. Yeah, right. She's been really good about making sure they don't work the count, getting them out quickly any way possible, either with a strikeout, flat out, or ground out. This one is trouble. Ripped into left center field and off the wall. Rounding first on her way to second. Here's the throw coming in. A close play, but Elke sliding in there for the one out double. And just like that, that's her 11th double of the season. And her speed just adds on to that, making those singles into doubles. So now it'll be straight low with a runner aboard in scoring position once more. This time with one left out though, Minnesota did get a double in the top of the first, but that was with two outs, now with one out. Off speed pitch on the outside of the plate for a strike. Strelo, a pair of home runs, 13 RBIs on the season, 186 on the year. Looking to come through in a big spot for Minnesota. Takes ball one right there. Well, 
One one coming in here from Maddie Schwartz. That one pounded into the ground, but fouled on the third base side. Stray Lowe, a senior, one of three Wisconsin natives on this Minnesota roster. Attended Bradford High School in Wisconsin. Left as the single season record holder in hits, doubles, home runs, RBIs. So pretty nice prep career there. Is the one two pitch off speed lifted into center field and that's gonna get down for a hit. And the runner holding up there at third and on the throw coming all the way to the plate, Stray Low will take second base. And now Minnesota's really putting together a threat, Sam. Yes, they are. And even looking at the stats, Minnesota got 41, 40 runs in the second and fourth inning. So the second and fourth inning, really strong for them. And looking at it now, it's going to continue like that. And here we go, a sister-sister matchup in a big spot. It'll be Maddie Schwartz against younger sister Sydney Schwartz here. Chan Hassan, Minnesota natives, growing up together. And now here on a softball field together and wearing big time rivals jerseys. Going to be great to continue the rivalry, big sister versus little sister. one -oh coming from Maddie to Sydney. Swing and a miss. You just know Sydney Schwartz really wants to win this battle right now, being a little sister. You wonder how many times this matchup has taken place at the Schwartz household. I'm sure over and over and over again, but never in a spot like this. Never on this big of a stage. It's the 1-1. One, one. And that one nubbed to Maddie Schwartz. She's going to come home. The throw is in time to get the runner out and keep a zero on the scoreboard. There's the second out of the inning. So that one right off the end of the bat from Sydney Schwartz. Maddie Schwartz fumbling it there in the circle for a little bit, but was able to get the out at home. It's looking like a draw between this sister matchup. You can see just in time to get that out at home base, keep it nothing, nothing. Now with two outs and runners at the corner. So great play there by Maddie Schwartz. Keep the zero on the board, and now it'll be up to the nine batter, Breezy Burnett, to try to push one across here for the Golden Gophers. First pitch right up the middle and through for a hit. So the run does come in. Burnett comes through in a big spot, and it's one nothing Minnesota. The Minnesota contingent here letting themselves be heard down to our right there. And a nice piece of hitting there by the bottom half of this Minnesota order to push a run across here. Now order turns over for Kayla Chavez. This one foul down the third base side. Short's going to be have to be careful with Chavez. Runners in scoring position and a runner on first. You know she wants to keep the damage down to one run. Four hits already for Minnesota here on the Wisconsin grad student. That one in the dirt. Chavez struck out in her first at bat back in the first inning. Schwartz will take an out of any variety here to try to get out of this one. Runners on first and second. Two down, though, in the inning. Off-speed pitch had Chavez out in front again, able to follow this one off. Essentially the same pitch he got Chavez to wave at back in the first inning on the strikeout. Now a mound visit here between Angelopoulos and Schwartz. What do you think the strategy is here, Sam? 
you know you gotta think you either have to make her chase or just throw it down the middle see if she can miss it or not notice but it'll be a really tough strikeout seeing as she already got struck out once so you gotta hope that she'll ground out fly out if you want that out to end the inning 28 RBIs for Chavez she would love to get number 29 right here for Minnesota Schwartz is one two and that one up the middle again this one is able to be gloved by Hubbard but everybody's safe A little bit indecisive behind the second base bag by Ellie Hubbard. Tried to come to second, but already there was Burnett, and now bases are loaded here. You could just see it was a little bobble. She couldn't get to the base path in time, leading everyone to be safe. Well, essentially a carbon copy of what happened there last time. Last ball got through. This one able to be gloved by Hubbard, but it'll go down as a single just the same. And now here's Amani Bradley with the bases loaded. And she's leading the team right now with three triples. You know she wants to hit a bases clearing triple right now. First pitch from Schwartz. Is just above the zone for ball one. Nowhere to put Bradley here. Schwartz got to pound the zone. Trying to avoid getting up, giving up a crooked number here in the top of the second. Already one across for Minnesota. Here's the 1-0 pitch, and that one half swung fouled into the Wisconsin dugout. Bradley flew out in her last at-bat to Peyton Bannon. Trying to put one into the gap this time. A 1-1 from Schwartz off the plate for ball two. Wisconsin outfield playing relatively shallow here about halfway in. Two outs in the inning here. A 2-1. Up the middle. That's a base hit. So Bradley delivers, and two runs will score for Minnesota. Bradley will take second on the throw all the way to the plate, and now it's 3-0 Golden Gophers. And just take a look. Great timing on that hit. Right up the middle. Neither short nor second can get it and perfect speed base running by all of the Gophers. So three runs now across for Minnesota. And now Jess Oakland. Off speed pitch off the plate for ball one. So already six hits for Minnesota on Schwartz. And we're only through an inning and two-thirds of work for Schwartz. Trying to get out of this second inning. Off-speed pitch. That one's above the zone as well for ball, too. Oakland, just a freshman, has already taken home Big Ten's Freshman of the Week honors twice as recently as two weeks ago. And now 3-0. Oakland with a team leading 26 walks on the year. One pitch away from drawing number 27. Schwartz able to find the zone there for, ball, for strike one. Oakland on an eight game hitting streak right now for the Golden Gophers, extended that to nine with a double back in the first, and now a base hit up the middle. 
One run will score. Another coming around as well. And now it's 5 nothing Minnesota. So three straight base hits right up the middle. You got to think this has to be frustrating for Schwartz as well as our fielders. Bobbling the ball in center field over there. Letting another run score. You got to think when's it going to end for Wisconsin. So the Golden Gophers in attack mode here early, and that is going to end Schwartz's afternoon. <laughs> Grab for the ground out to Serdashi to end the first last time. First pitch inside for ball one. And Kraft leading the team in average slugging RBIs and on base percentage, as well as home runs. She's going to be a tough hitter to face for Manyanamo. Manyanamo. It's a foul ball right over our heads here in the press box. Pretty inside pitch there from have to be taking a hack at there. Ready to hit. It's all of the damage from Minnesota came under the singles. This one's crushed in the air, deep to left field, and on the track, and making the catch is Bannon. So a near two-run home run there for Kraft. Hambrick back out there for Minnesota. Nice long break. Where she, she watched her team put up five runs on the top of the second. She'll face Serdashny, then Crane, then Angelopoulos. And there's a first pitch strike to Skylar Serdashny. Serdashny, after a really rough start to conference play, starting to pick things up here a little bit. That one way off the plate. For ball one. So Dashney's still struggling here a little bit in conference play. Just 167 average, 495 OPS. Trying to get those numbers up. That one strike two on the inside corner. It's going to be Hambrick's task here for Minnesota. Just Get ahead of these pitchers, throw, or these hitters rather, throw strikes with a five run lead. Not much damage can be done. Yeah, in the last inning, the batters, they were extending the pitches. So Dashney oh. pokes that one to second base and can't be fielded there by Stray Low. So Sir Dashney is aboard. We'll see if that goes down as a hit or an error. But Wisconsin does not care. A runner is a runner. A runner is a runner. First pitch outside to the freshman Riley Crane hitting in the six hole today for Wisconsin. Trying to keep the line moving here. Squares to bunt and that one fouled behind. Crane really the only freshman this season to crack the everyday lineup for Wisconsin. Not batting too bad. 250 still looking for that first home run though. Crane swings and misses at a pitch outside the zone there. So it'll be one and two now. You know as a freshman play disciplines comes with time. Swings and misses are good when starting out. Crane doesn't strike out very much, just 12 Ks on the year. Always good for a battle. There's a 1-2, and there she strikes out. Angelopoulos, the big cut at that one, fouled over the first base bleachers. Wisconsin still searching for their first hit on J.C. Hambrick. Another foul ball there from Angelopoulos. A 
Bit of a struggle here for Angelopoulos lately as well. Got a day off on Saturday from the starting lineup against Nebraska. And then came back, snapped a five-game hitless streak on Sunday. Takes ball one outside there. Nice eye with two strikes. Jalopoulos by far one of the taller Badgers on this squad. 5'11". It's a 1-2 pitch off speed. And Angelopoulos lets it pass for ball two. And this is something the Badgers are good at, working the count, getting a 2-2 two and two after being down 0-2. Oh Badgers trying to respond after giving up five in the top of the second. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Angelopoulos taking down low. Good eye there on the off speed. So after falling behind 0-2, Angelopoulos has worked it back to a full count now. We'll see if Sir Dashney is off. And now time called by our whole plane umpire, Jason Smith. Charles Blackwell, the first base ump. Third base, Sergio Villarreal. There's the three two, and that one fouled away. Jalopoulos trying to come through here for Wisconsin. Keep the line moving. Bannon on deck here. Full count. Swing and a miss. And Hamburg picks up her second strikeout of the inning. And the second out of the inning. First pitch is well above the zone for ball one. Bannon hitting 239 this year. 18 RBIs. Also 12 extra base hits, third on the team. That one inside, nearly hit her, ball two. Bannon also leading the team in triples with four this season. One of the Badgers' fastest runners by far. Missed a few games earlier this year. Been a welcome addition back to the lineup since returning to full health. 2-0, and Bannon swings and follows that one off her leg. Looked like Sir Dashney was off there. Bannon trying to walk it off a little bit. That one seemed to sting her. Sardashny at first base, three of six on stolen base attempts this season. Give Ed Healy more favors the hit and run versus just the true steals, but. And two and one now coming to Bannon. And well outside for ball three. Badgers will take walks here, Sam, really any way they can get them. Any way they can get them, any type of walk, especially on a 3-2 count with the Badgers always do. And for Conway, getting hit by a pitch is pretty common. Three balls, one strike. To the bat, left fielder. Bannon, this one floated into left field. That's going to get down for a hit. So the first hit of the game for Wisconsin off the bat of Peyton Bannon. And lots of power potential as well. Inside for ball one. Bannon, the or excuse me, Hubbard, the third of four lefties here. Or the third of three lefties at the bottom of this order. Three of the last four hitters. Bannon, of course, being lone righty. And this one foul. Look out. Right into the bleachers. Everyone appears to be okay over there. 
There you can take a look at the numbers from Hubbard. A couple of home runs. First two as a Badger. Boy, would she love one here. 1-1 one, one pitch, off speed. And that one drops in there, strike two. Two of the fastest badges in Sir Dashney and Bannon. You just know a single could probably score both of them. Bannon trying to avoid, or excuse me, Hubbard trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim. Stays alive here, bounces it right to Hambrick, and she'll toss to first to Schwartz to end the inning. And spent the first 13 years as the pitching coach, seeing how well our pitchers are doing for Minnesota. Mignanamo back out there for Wisconsin. Strike one to Den Hartog. It'll be then Elke, then Stray Low for the Golden Gophers in the top half of the third. Den Hartog, the line out back in the second inning. Half swing, she went around, I believe. Yes, she did. And strike two now. Nice pitch there from Mignanama. Forty-four strikeouts on the season. Can Mignanamo get number forty-five? Not on that pitch. In the dirt for ball one. And Mignanamo with the five and one record, she's good at getting those wins, and she can definitely be the one to help Wisconsin come back from this five nothing score. Another one two strike pitch. That one above the zone for ball two. Two balls now and two strikes to the Minnesota center fielder. Mignano's pitch. That one inside for ball three. Sudden hard dog worked back from an 0-2 count. Push this one full. Full count from Mignanamo. Off speed pitch lifted in the air to left. Bannon back to the track and able to track it down right there for the first out of the inning. Another deep ball, but it's an out just the same. You know, first at bat, she flew out to right, this time to left. Probably hoping she can get a hit or, some, or just on base for her next at bat. Now here is Maddie Elke. Started that five run second with a double off the wall. First pitch is inside for ball one. Gophers seem to be having a different approach, being a lot more patient at the play, working the count. Mignanamo getting a strike call there on the outside edge. Make it one and one. That one missing just low. You could tell she wanted that call. Her Angelopoulos waiting. Elke, another Wisconsin native here on this Minnesota team. Attended Bayport High School up in the Green Bay area. All-state, four-time first team all-conference honoree for Bayport. Taking the talents to Minnesota and put together a pretty good season for the Golden Gophers. And pitch just off the plate, Elke hold off and a walk here for Elke and a base runner for Minnesota. And they wanted to check her swing looking over at the third base umpire.
So Elke aboard. And now Stray Low. Squares to Bun, popped right up in the air. Angelopoulos makes the catch in foul territory. So it's a tough break there for Stray Low, but a great heads up play by the Badgers catcher to record that out. You could just see great reflexes by the Wisconsin catcher. She was ready for that bunt to get popped up right in the ball territory for a great second out. And that will be Sydney Schwartz against Minnesota. First pitch fouled and then a diving attempt by Keller. I don't believe she caught it. It's in that blind spot for us here from our view at the press box. Great effort there from Keller coming up just short there. Yeah, just going into the Minnesota dugout. Really good effort to f get out of this inning. Schwartz, Chan Hassan, Minnesota native, now facing Manyanamo instead of her sister. Second pitch just off the plate for ball one. Against Maddie Schwartz, Sydney Schwartz, fielder's choice. Back to Maddie Schwartz. Then came across to score on one of the four Minnesota singles. Schwartz also a decorated prep career Almost as much, if not more so, than her sister Maddie. Two-time Minnesota Gatorade Player of the Year. 54th ranked recruit by extra innings. Two-time All-State honoree. And now Schwartz sends one in the air to left center field, to the track, to the wall, and gone! Sydney Schwartz with a two-run bomb to left center field. And Minnesota now up a touchdown. Minnesota really celebrating that two-run homer for Schwartz. Great timing on the pitch delivery and the hit. Just got it lifted right up into sen left center for a great home run to put Minnesota on top. So how about that? Cindy Schwartz's first home run in a Minnesota uniform comes here in the top of the third to extend an already large Minnesota lead. Nightmare start here for Wisconsin against their rivals to the west. And now Breezy Burnett. Minyamo splits the first two, it's 1-1. Mignanamo has to be frustrated after the one terrible outing against St. Thomas, giving up a home run as well. You know she wants to bounce back. Off speed pitch, line foul. Burnett hasn't really had a hit since March 24th before getting a single there back in the second inning. So snapping a pretty lengthy drought for her. Still a little, uh, bright career ahead of her, just a freshman, Jacksonville, Florida native. Behind in the count, one, two. Pitch from Mignanamo, that one bounces in front of home plate. So now, two balls and two strikes, two outs in the inning. In the air to center, Schlosser drifting over to her left and makes the catch. 
to end the inning. Minnesota off the bat of the freshman Sydney Schwartz adds two more to their lead. They're up seven nothing after two and a half here in Madison. Schlosser, first pitch into right field for a base hit. So that's a nice start for Wisconsin as they search for a response here. First pitch off the plate on the outside for ball one. Not a very surprising first pitch for Conway. Conway hit by a pitch back in the first inning in her first plate appearance. First pitch, or second pitch rather, in the dirt for ball two. Conway hoping for a less painful way aboard this time. You could just see the two different approach, Slosher going on that first pitch, getting the single. Kayla Khan went a lot more patient, knowing that she will get walked for most of her at-bats. Brush back there from Hambrick, 3-0 now. A lot of work to do here for Wisconsin, down by seven. Trying to keep the line moving. See how aggressive Hambrick is here on this 3-0. Katie Keller on deck for Wisconsin. And Hambrick doing a really good job keeping Wisconsin down, only allowing two hits so far in three innings. 3-0 pitch, Conwin takes a hack and fouls it straight back. And it's the second time she swung on a 3-0 count as well. Was hit on the following pitch after. See if history repeats itself here. Three one. And called strike on the inside corner. Oh boy. Conwent was ready to run the first. But umpire Jason Smith brings her right back. So now count here. We'll see if Hamburg can win the battle and come all the way back here. Here's the 3-2. Conwin on the ground to second. What a stop there. Throw to first. Double play. Wow, what a play started by Jess Oakland at short. And Conwin, it's about as hard hit of a ball as you can have. It's a real tough break for Wisconsin right there. First pitch on the inside corner, strike one. Just a look what I found moment from Oakland, but still a really nice play nonetheless. That one just off the play for ball one. It was a great play, and you can just see how strong this Minnesota defense is compared to the Wisconsin one. Wisconsin with no errors yet, but the Gopher defense has been strong throughout this whole game. Hambrick able to bring that last pitch a little bit further in, grab strike two there. So Keller behind once more. Popped up to short in her first at bat, trying for a better result this time. Hambrick's one, two, and that one well off the plate for ball two. A lot of twos on the board now. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two off-speed pitch. Keller gets a piece and grounded fouled on the third base side. Keller will drop back and get ready to battle once more. Two and two, the NIU transfer. And the pitch, off speed pitch, grounded, or ripped down the 
right through that 3-4 hole and into right field for a base hit. Hard. Foul speed pitch taken for ball one. Couple re-entering the game after Mary Therese Nevin took over in right field. And that one, did it hit her? It did, it brushed her on the leg. So now two straight base runners for Wisconsin off the Keller single and the hit by pitch on Kuffel. Even that ball gets into center field like it usually you think would in that situation. And Wisconsin all of a sudden maybe he's run across here, bases loaded perhaps at worst. But now, no excuse. Time to do some damage with two outs if you're Wisconsin. Minnesota did a lot of damage back in the second with two. So Dashney right up the middle and snatched out of the air by Hamburg. Wow, what a play there by the Minnesota pitcher. That one pops straight up into the air. Who wants it? Sir Dash comes in, makes us the catch about halfway between home plate and the pitching mound. And that'll be the first out of the inning. And both leadoff hitters for Wisconsin and Minnesota firing off at the first pitch, just two different results. So now stepping in is Amani Bradley. Ball one. Angelopoulos had a moment like that against Nebraska in that marathon game back on Friday. Ten innings, three hours, and 20-plus minutes long. Pass ball that led directly to a tying run for Nebraska in the eighth inning of that one. And Nebraska really just taking advantage of the Wisconsin defense, knowing that errors do come, and they were able to get a win through that. Minnesota, though, not having to worry about that. Their offense is showing for this today. Still is quite remarkable when you think about Maddie Schwartz against Nebraska. She pitched 16 and two-thirds innings, gave up nine runs, that, but none of them were earned. This one floated in the air. And squeezed by Ava Kusak playing second base now for Wisconsin for the second out of the inning. And Mignanima hoping for a quick fourth inning after the past two she's had being really long, two flyouts already to get the two outs. So Wisconsin searching for their first clean inning of the game. Going to have to get Jess Oakland out, though, in order to accomplish that goal. First pitch, good start, strike one. That one hit high in the air, and that one will get out of play foul. Manyanamo likely just going to be asked here to eat some innings for Wisconsin. Unless the offense can find a way to work themselves back into this one. Yeah, Manyanamo going to have to really get into this inning, into this game with the doubleheader. You know that Wisconsin has a few other pitchers to go to, but probably wants to wait for game two. Look out, another ripper foul into the stance. Appears to be all right over there. Manyanamo trying to pick up a strikeout here against the two for two, Jess Oakland. It's 2 2. That one again followed in the stands, 0 2 rather. Trying to get her out in front with the off speed there.
Another 0-2 coming from Mignanamo to Oakland. And the pitch, and that one fouled down the third baseline. Not by much, though. Oakland with a good eye. Those strikes, she's fouling off, keeping her alive in this at bat. Definitely on time here with a fastball. A couple straight off speed pitches from Mignanamo. Trying to put her away here. Oakland with 23 strikeouts on the year. Another 0-2, that one again pushed foul. This one settles on the top of the Minnesota dugout. Oakland really jumping on all these pitches, trying to go three for three right now. Doesn't want to strike out. And there's a ball above the zone. Probably a smart pitch there from Mignanamo. She's been on everything else. Got to waste one here. Throws her off her track as well. Makes her think, what's the next pitch going to be? And that one absolutely drills her. Oh, boy. Oakland trying to shake that one off. Like right on the forearm there. She almost actually went around. Just drilled her going down, missing any type of guard. And you can see Angelopoulos, Manyanamo having a discussion on how they're going to go with Taylor Craft now coming up the bat. So, smiling over there, she appears to be okay. <laughs> that definitely could not have felt good though, especially when you think about the fact that it's not necessarily what we would call warm outside either. No, it is not in beautiful Wisconsin, always cold. Here is Kraft, the sophomore catcher now with a runner aboard. First pitch outside the zone for ball one. You have to think no matter where they play, it'd probably be cold Minnesota, Wisconsin have to be used to it at a certain point. It's kind of the downside of Big Ten softball is that usually most of the beginning of the year, almost the, f the first two, two and a half months has to be played elsewhere at neutral locations, road games against southern and western foes. Just because, obviously, the weather here is not necessarily conducive to softball in February and early March. Yeah, it's not an ideal condition for these players, especially pitchers having to pitch in cold weather. Off-speed pitch fouled back by Kraft. Like a hanger there from Mignanamo. Lucky she got away with that one. Soda already up by seven, looking to add some more here with two down in the fourth. Another one comes inside on Kraft, taken for ball two. And Mignanamo seeming to have the same approach that she did with the Oakland. Some inside pitches in the zone, and then a high fastball for the ball. The 2-1 fouled back again from Kraft. Oakland the runner on first after getting drilled by a Mignanamo pitch. Kraft trying to keep the line moving for Minnesota. Two two from Mignanamo. And that one's upstairs for ball three. So now Oakland will be off on release. And it's interesting looking at the lineup. Chavez and Bradley both going out on just a few pitches. And then Oakland continuously fouling off. Kraft working it full. Kraft on him just two Golden Gophers without a hit so far today. Trying to get on herself on the board here. Full count down the line, but hooking foul.
Then Heart Dog on deck, the other gopher without a hit so far today. Another payoff coming from Mignanamo to Kraft. Here's the 3-2 pitch, and it seems like that hit something. Did that hit the bat of Kraft? I believe it did. Yeah, it's looking like she did. It doesn't seem to be in any type of pain. Umpire probably would have called it. It probably hit the tip of the bat. It looked like it went right, almost seemed like it went right off the knob of the bat, I guess it looked like. So a tough break there for Kraft. Another pitch getting away from Mignamo. Now new life for the Wisconsin pitcher, trying to finally put an end to this inning. Another payoff from Mignamo and misses badly for ball four. So that will bring Denhart Dog to the plate. And Art Dog with a pretty long list of honors so far in her Minnesota career. Three-time All-Big Ten honoree, three-time All-Region honoree, a member of the 2019 Big Ten All-Freshman team, and a National Freshman of the Year finalist back in 2019. Nothing to show for you yet in this game, going 0-2 with a fly out, hoping to get an RBI or to just advance the runners and get the bases loaded for the Gophers. And check this out, Sam. Looks like the sun has peeked its way out of the clouds here. Ripped past Sir Dashney and down the third base line, and then it gets away from Bannon in left field. So already a couple runs coming in, and now a third one as well. And that's trouble for Wisconsin actually checked that just two runs coming across there with just the runners on first and second base but that'll be a single and a two base error for Den Hartog who gets herself on the board with a couple RBIs right there. And there's Minnesota taking advantage of the poor fielding of the Badgers as well as the sun peeking out. It's a new light for the Gophers now going up 9-0 in this game in the top of the fourth. We'll see if another pitching change is coming here. Looking like Gabby Salo. It will be Gabby Salo coming now. So Mignanamo able to make it to the fourth, but Forced to give way now to Salo. Try to get the Badgers just across the finish line here. Salo with a great start. She has the lowest opponent batting average of the Wisconsin pitching staff. Her opponent's batting 220, hoping she can get out of this inning for the Badgers. And the Badgers already in to three pitchers just in this first game. Yeah, Man Maddie Schwartz, if you're just joining us, Schwartz only made it through one and two thirds innings before having to be pulled. Manyanamo came in, was able to get the Badgers out of that second inning, but then she gave up two more in the third and now all two in the fourth so far. So it'll be Elke now to face Salo here. On the ground of first, and Keller able to make the play, and on one pitch, Salo able to get out of the inning. But not before Minnesota. They've scored on every inning since the second, adding two more here in the fourth to extend the lead out to 9 nothing. An inning away from potentially invoking the run rule here today. Ava Kusak will step up here for the Badgers and bat for Riley Crane. 
Seems like she has taken over for the Badger freshman at second base. So a freshman, freshman swap here. Kusak this time lifts it and drifting back. Oakland makes the catch on the outfield grass to retire Kusak for the first out of the inning. First pitch in the dirt for ball one. Tough day so far at the plate for Wisconsin. Angelopoulos pounds this one on the ground to first base. And an easy play there. Now getting out too quickly already. Bannon able to hold off on that one for ball one. On the ground is short. Oakland fields the second hop, whips one across, and Bannon is out at first base. So on five pitches, Bree Enter makes quick work of the Badgers in the fourth. Minnesota up nine to nothing as we head to the fifth inning here at Goodman Diamond on Big Ten Plus. The home team that is up. The game could end by rule if a team is up by more eight or more runs, which Minnesota is right now. So if Minnesota is leading by eight or more runs here after this inning, the game would end. Wisconsin with some work to do to prevent that from happening. Starts with putting a zero up here in the fifth. Bottom, of the th bottom third of the Minnesota order here. On the ground is short and Botched there by Ellie Hubbard. So an error on Hubbard. And now base runner for Minnesota again, hopping on the poor defense that Wisconsin has continued since their Nebraska series. Sydney Schwartz now. Big home run. Already today. First pitch from Salo right down the middle for strike. That home run from Schwartz came back in the third inning. And Schwartz has been now faced every Wisconsin pitcher, her sister, Manonimo, and now Salo. Another pitch high for ball one. Schwartz pretty good with runners aboard this year. 429 average, well above her 273 for the year. This one is second base, how many? There's one, throw to first, double play. A nice play there by the Badger middle infield, Kusak, and then Hubbard redeeming herself with a nice strong throw to first, and now two outs in the inning. Yeah, great way for Wisconsin to bounce back after that error. Coming up with great double play just after Minnesota got a double play on them in the previous inning. So, four, six, three, double play. Now the base is empty for the nine batter, Breezy Burnett. First pitch in the dirt for ball one. Gonna have a meeting here between Burnett and her third base coach. Salo trying to get the Badgers to the bottom of the fifth here and see if they can push a couple of runs across to extend this game. That one fouled straight back by Burnett.
And an interesting approach, Bernetta's had all of her at-bats, getting ready to bunt, and then right when the pitch is setting up, going back to hit. 1-1 one, one coming here to Minnesota 9-hitter. Now time called by Angelopoulos, and now another visit here. So the pitch flipped into right field. Koffel giving a look, but it'll go out of play. Two strikes here on Burnett and a ball. You got to wonder what Salo and Angelopoulos talked about in that short visit. Wondering how they want to approach Burnett right here. Ball and two strikes now. Here's the pitch from Salo inside, nearly hit her. But also not that far away from being a strike either. No, it's not. She she bats really close to the plate. Lots of times you can't tell ball or strike. And now with the count even up two and two, she's able to take a ball if she needs it. Here's a 2-2 pitch on the ground. Past Sir Dashney at third base in the foul territory. So a nice long battle here between Salo and Burnett. Nine hits today for Minnesota. Nine runs. And Burnett with a 2-2. That one bounced about halfway to home plate. <laughs> Ball three. Salo collecting herself for this payoff pitch. You know she wants to get the strikeout to end this top of the fifth inning. Payoff pitch. This one in the air. Is it playable? Keller reaching, and that one lands on the roof of the Minnesota dugout on the first base side. So we'll do it again. <laughs> Couple back in right field now for Wisconsin. And as we mentioned already, Ava Kusak taking over at second base for Riley Crane. The rest of the Badger defense is the same for now. Another payoff pitch from Salo, and this one is inside, and Burnett will take first base with a walk. Burnett did a good job really extending her at bat, fouling off the pitches, and drawing the walk. And now up is Kayla Chavez, hoping to extend her hit and maybe get a few more doubles. So now the order will turn over. Top of the order back up here. Chavez with a strikeout, a single, and a pop-up to third base. First pitch. From Salo on the ground, Sardashny Fields will throw to first and in time to retire Chavez. So Wisconsin with some work to do, need two to extend this game as we head into the bottom of the fifth inning. Can the Badgers keep this alive? We'll find out on the other side of the break here on Big Ten Plus. Yeah, and as you said previously, this would be the first time that the Badgers would lose in the eight-run rule, hoping to not start that off today in this doubleheader. Yeah, and as that graphic showed, also would be Minnesota's first over a Big Ten opponent this year. So a lot of firsts here on the line. Wisconsin trying to avoid the bad ones. Here's a ground ball and a diving play there by Strelo, but Hubbard's gonna beat it out. And that's a good start here for Wisconsin as they try to extend this game. Hubbard single, turns the order over now to the top with a runner aboard. First pitch on the outside edge for strike one. Enter back out there here for Minnesota, trying to finish off this game. So 
Slosser swing and a miss. Now down no balls and two strikes. And enter already with 21 strikeouts this season. You know she wants to try to extend that with Wisconsin and get the Gophers the win today. Schlosser with a fly ball and a single so far today. The no two pitch on the way. Schlosser able to get just a piece of that one to stay alive. Very aggressive hitter, Molly Schlosser. Yeah. First pitch hit in her last at bat. You know she wants to get those hits, get the Badger offense going. Bree Mitchell in as a pinch runner here for the Badgers. Another 0-2, that one off the plate for ball one. So after Hubbard with, uh, after Hubbard reaching, it'll be Mitchell taking over at first base running for her. Now a 1-2 coming to Schlosser. On the ground, softly to second base. Stray Lowe makes this play to retire Schlosser. Mitchell advances to second base. Put a runner in scoring position now for Kayla Conway. <laughs> Pitch to Conway inside. Conway capable of extending this game with one swing of the bat. Nine home runs already this season. And this one in the air to left. A couple steps in is Bradley and able to squeeze that one to uh, retire Conway. Just a home run would get them to the sixth inning. First pitch, high for ball one. Keller, a lot of doubles this year, of course, but also displaying some home run power this year. Has six of them on the season. There's a strike. Keller with also great play disciplines. She could draw a walk if she really wanted to. And the good thing about this top of the order for Wisconsin, they don't strike out too much. Keller cuts at a high fastball there. Now Wisconsin down to their last strike. Keller and Enter really both locking in. Keller really wanting that hit. Enter wanting the strikeouts to get the game. One two pitch. That one misses. Now Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second base in Mitchell. Wisconsin trying to extend the game. Enter trying to end it. 2-2. Two -two. That one poked to short. And Oakland with no play. So Keller will reach with an infield single to extend the game. Wisconsin still down to their last out. Cuffle taking strike one right down the middle. Couple with a strikeout, hit by a pitch so far today. And there's strike two. Now Wisconsin down to their last strike once more. And the pitch off the plate for ball one. Wisconsin, one of those teams, they're great at hitting once they're down two strikes, and especially with two outs. Another one, two. Ah, just off the corner there. So Kuffle, Kuffle taking a couple of close pitches. Able to run the count back even at two balls and two strikes. Enters ready. Try to end the game right here. And Kuffle pops this one up. Enter underneath. Instead, taken by Chavez. And that is going to do it. So Minnesota coming in to Wisconsin with an emphatic victory here in game one. And improved to 10-6 in Big Ten play with their fourth straight victory.